Hi, my name is Chris Peterson. I'm the founder and CEO of Vector Firm. Vector Firm is a sales and marketing consulting and training business focused on the security industry. I'm very proud to be partnering with SIA to deliver this four part video series on how to start a sales call in today's environment. Today, we're gonna to be delivering part number two in the four part series. So if you recall, our, our first video was all about step number one in starting a sales call. And step number one is all about preparation. And when I say preparation, I don't mean just you becoming prepared as a sales professional. That's part of it, that's a big part of it. But a part that's missing most of the time, even in the very best sales professionals is preparing your audience, preparing your potential customer or your customer for that sales call. Making sure that they are mentally engaged, making sure that they have everything that they need for when you show up. Today we're gonna to talk about step number two. Step number two starts right when that sales call starts. Whether it's a virtual call or whether you're in the lobby and your host comes out to greet you and bring you back to the conference room. At that moment, a huge advantage for any salesperson is to understand the mode in which your customers are in. Are they in task mode or are they in socializing mode? If you know this, then you can determine how you're going to navigate that sales call. So how do we do this? How do we understand whether our customers in task mode or in social mode. Well, don't worry, we're not gonna to have to go through a Myers-Briggs test or, or get their disk profile or anything like that. All you've gotta do is ask one simple question and then sit back and wait for the answer. Now this works with an audience of four or less. You start to get above four people and you're going to have to ask this question to the whole group. So as I reveal what that question is, I want you to think about that. If you've got one, two, three people, maybe even four people, that's okay. You can ask it of each person and, and, and engage a conversation. If you've got a bigger group, then, then it's the whole audience that needs to hear it and then have the whole audience kind of give you, give you an answer and you can judge whether the group is in task mode or in socializing mode. Okay, what's the question? The question is this, are you ready for and then you fill in the blank. Are you ready? Right now I'm recording this just before Thanksgiving. So what I would ask today, so are you ready for Thanksgiving? The beauty of this question is it can go all throughout the year. You ready for Thanksgiving? You ready for the holidays? You ready for New Year's? Are you ready for the Super Bowl? Are you ready for Valentine's Day? Are you ready for warm weather? Boom, 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 boom. There's always something to be ready for. All right, so what? You ask that question. How is that going to tell you whether your customer's in task mode or socializing mode. The way they answer the question. If you ask the question, so are you ready for Thanksgiving? And you're walking back to the conference room and your customer says, yeah, yeah, I think so. Look, go, go right down there. It's the third door on the right. I'll meet you there in a second. Task mode. What if you go into the conference room or you're on a Zoom call and there's three people on there and you say, so, are y'all ready for Thanksgiving? And they all just start talking. Oh boy, I'll tell you what. I go to my, my sister's house and her husband fries a turkey. Have you ever had fried turkey? Oh my God, fried turkey is unbelievable. It only takes like 45 minutes to cook and it's the juiciest piece. Social mode. It's that simple, folks. It really is. Now, if you're not too sure whether they're in task mode or social mode, if you're gonna make an error, just assume that they're in task mode. Because if they're in socializing mode, you're not gonna make them angry by the way you act if you assume they're in task mode. But if they're in task mode and you start socializing with them, <laughs> they're gonna want you out of there. So on our next video, we're gonna talk about how to build the appropriate rapport depending on what mode they're in. That's it, folks. Step number one, prepare. Not just yourself, but prepare your customers for your sales call. And step number two, understand whether they're in task mode or socializing mode. And you do that by asking the question, are you ready for? Take care, everybody. See ya.